Big for me guys, big for me. What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. So I'm back here, blue waters. Water looks really good. Uh, there were a few pommies this week, yesterday, I think a few days before that. Uh, one good one came out yesterday, about four kilos. So yeah, hopefully I can get one today. Uh, baits, I've got like an hour before the tide starts to drop. So I might try and get some uh, sea lice, maybe some mussels. And then yeah, see from there. So guys, I decided to fish on the surf. The pier is a bit busy. Nothing major, but yeah. Uh, surf is a lot quieter. You get more space to fish. And uh, you can choose your spots a, but a lot more. Like, I mean, you can put your rods 50 meters apart. Because uh, there's no one else fishing on the surf. The one looks good. In terms of formation, uh, not really much that I chose. It looks like there's a rip here. But as the tide starts to drop, I might move a bit and uh, find better formation. But I'll only put a bit in the water. So guys, I got a bit of new school versus old school here. <laughs> uh, so. The sea lice, pretty big muscle, yeah, just straight muscle. This is my double hook trace uh, that I use on the grinder. The exact same trace that I got the pommy on. So basically, I got the bottom hook, swivel there to stop it. I got my sinker running between that. Then it's about a meter of line. Sorry, guys, I can't do the best uh, presentation of this. I'm alone. Uh, yeah, so I got about a meter of line. And then I've got my next hook. So that is going up against the old school method. So hope I remember how to cast these guys. <laughs> it's been that long. But yeah, I got my multiplier out. That's a SL20. Um, and yeah, yeah, I got a sea lice with a bit of crayfish some extra flavoring added to it and uh, your exact well not your exact your normal running trace just a normal swivel going to the hook swivel for the sinker and a bead in between let's see which one works guys either way I want to get a fish Yeah, guys, it's a long running chase. What is flat? So that's my hook suit. Is hook snoot? Is that long? Let's hope I don't make an overwind or baja as we normally call it. Guys, I managed to get out in a good place. There's a bank that's breaking. Well, it was breaking <laughs> when I threw. Uh, I managed to get it just before that. So hopefully there's a fish feeding on top of the bank or uh, the sides. Pick up the bait. Put the next bait out.
the grinder out. Not to sure if you guys could see, I walked a bit with him. Also, it's <laughs> sun is uh, out now. But yeah, it feels like there's a bit of drag in the front. Slight surge, nothing too bad. Hopefully, my feet are still set. I get a bite. So, yeah, guys, last bait going out. Can't help myself, really. <laughs> uh, so, a piece of oki and then some mussels in the back. I've got some good fish on this bait. Not so much mussel, but uh, the different combinations of cracker, sea lice. So, yeah, now let me try mussel. Guys, I'm about to pack up now. Uh, it's still early, 5 past 10. But the water went out and no bite. The surge got worse. So, yeah, I'm gonna go home, sleep, got work tonight. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try the old school versus new school again. Let's see who wins. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So, yeah, uh, round two <laughs> multiplier versus grinder. Uh, on my way to blue waters looks like someone's in the on so, sorry looks like someone's on in the front uh, the water is extremely flat so i'm most likely gonna fish this up again maybe try look for a working bank or anything like that and fish that so yeah, the tide should be dropping soon and the east is uh, meant to pick up a bit so hopefully that puts a bit of chop in the water because right now guys it's really flat but there you can see the one guy is on the front uh, i'm assuming it's a skate i know they got uh, a few decent fish here recently so hopefully i managed to get one guys uh, i haven't really put any fish on the board on beach run this year well, besides the shark, huh? so yeah, I've got a bait and hope for the best. So, guys, we've got Manas here on with the uh, not too sure yet. Manas, what do you have to say? Hey, good fight early morning, yeah? It's a early, about 7 o'clock. A lovely fight for the morning run. Ding dag, stop ding dag. What do you think it is? For me? Yeah, okay, sure. You saw it? Yeah. So, guys, the water is really flat. Can't really see any waves breaking, any banks. I will be able to see it, but they're in the water. Yeah. I screamed off. Huh? Screamed off. Yeah. Like a big one must be. Yeah, that's a big one. Maybe. So guys, I was given the rod to help out. To get the fish off the pier. Came a decent way now. You can take the rod back. And fight this fish. Looks like a good for me. 5-6 kilo range. I just the last part now to get you over the top. Yeah, bro. Take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, yeah. Your fish, your fish. Same thing. What about the hook? What do? Small. One thing. Hey. Short, short, short. Yeah, but play him, play him softly. When you come on the bank, I can make a plan and grab it. Like I said, we saw the fish. The good for me. I haven't seen a big one, like I say, in a while. This is the last part now. It's just, just over the dump here. Playing it softly. Light tackle. Just to get it out. Out 
to Alexi Platinas from the Blue Waters Group. You can see Alexi, we have the guitar now. Just giving some good uh, tips on how to land this big for me. The big one, the big one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you should. Huh? Yeah? Okay, keep going oh. with him, keep going with him. Because if you turn and go back towards the pier, yeah. then we park it. Yeah, I saw him, I saw him. Big one, big for me, big for me. It's just over the dump, guys. What is deep over the dump? So it's going to take him some time to come over. As I don't know why deep for him, I know he's going to jig up. Big for me guys, big for me. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a wolf size? Yeah, show it now. Nice. Well, Small look, just in the jaw. I'm in the jaw. <laughs> you got it? Okay, yeah. so cute. Right. Are you okay? Say cheese. Okay, bro. Yo. Well done, bro. So guys, after seeing that big for me, I'm, I'm excited for a bit in the water. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's been years since I've seen one that big. So uh, I decided not to fish the pier. The pier is a bit busy. I came down to the surf. There's a grave card on the side of me. Hopefully that doesn't interfere with my fishing. Uh, but yeah, there's a bank that's occasionally working here. You can see it's starting to lift on that side. So yeah, I'm gonna put a bait out on the surf and hopefully I get a bite. So yeah guys, as I said before, I'm going to continue the old school versus new school. Uh, get my multiplier and my grinders. Uh, let's see which one gets a bite. So guys, I decided to take the, put the grinder out first. There's two baits. A little bit of crayfish and mussel. This is straight mussel. Uh, yeah, let me put it out. Yeah guys, I was just about to throw my bait. <laughs> There's the next guy on here. I think his fish is coming towards me. So I'm gonna wait for him to throw, uh, get his fish out. Yeah, I'm going to throw. Your turn next! <laughs> Is 
Suffice G. Uh, just in the front, but he still has a lot of life in him. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well done, bro. Shot, my friend. Got it. Got it. Uh, not even a small bait as well. <laughs> Shot. Got it, got it. Yeah. Well done, bro. Can I get a photo with you? Yeah. So, guys, hopefully, I can put a bit in the water now. So, guys, I couldn't wait after having the guys fish to uh, put a bait out. Came back to it out. Not too far. This was the uh, From what I heard, the 80 bites not far out. I decided to fish, up, to fish on the bank in the back, but uh, the getting bites just over the top that's all I'm fish. I might put a bait on the bank, maybe capitalize there, but uh, yeah, for the next one out. Guys, the northeast just started blowing, but now turns up the water a bit. Hopefully put the fish in a feeding frenzy. <laughs> I think I said it already but I'd love to get a big one. I haven't got one that big as the first one before. But the night tackle that I'm fishing now as well can be a good fight. Okay, the multiplier is going out next. Straight muscle bait, couple of SL20. Uh, but now instead of throwing the thumb, I'm going to try and put it for the back bank. about the pass but it basically on the bank or just before the bank and more or less exactly where I want to go yeah I just need to wait so guys last thing going out small piece of hockey it's a mask on the back uh, hoping for the finger for me with this but I know there's a flat here on the lost agent. So 
So guys, I decided to reload the grinder. Looks like there's some current. And both baits have been well chowed. Nothing for me is but maybe like monies or something. The bottom bait, the crayfish is still there. Just the muscle that uh, gone, so I'm gonna put both baits muscle now. Yeah guys, even though I haven't had a bite yet, but the tide is dropping, uh, it's still a beautiful day to be at the beach guys. Uh, I thought the east was going to start to pick up, but it didn't. Uh, but yeah, it's just getting into winter now. The sun, you can still feel it. But still guys, the sea is beautiful. Uh, beach is quiet. <laughs> Advantages of uh, fishing during the week. But yeah guys, just look at it. So it has gotten a bit quiet. Uh, I saw one more fish lost on the pier. Um, the guy tried to lift it, but uh, I think as he tried to lift it, the hook pulled. But yeah, there one other guy fishing on the surf on the left of me. He hasn't had a bite yet, so yeah. I fish maybe another two hours. I wait for the tide to drop completely. And then yeah, I'm gonna pack up, go home, uh, get a few hours sleep before work tonight you guys looks like I might have finally had a bite a lot of slack line Small fish guys, small fish. Actually no fish. Came front fed. But it looks like the octopus made up to the point. And yeah, I never get hooked. So guys, you can't catch a fish with no bait. <laughs> Not too sure if there was a bite or just peckers. But yeah, lucky I decided to reel out and change the bait. This was the multiplier. There is there's another fish hooked on the pier. Not too sure what it is yet. But if he decides to beach it, I'm here to help grab it. Okay, I'm not too sure what's happening there. It's still on or not. It's still on. He maybe made the drag a bit too loose. Okay, sure, 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 sure. So guys, minus on the pier just signaled to me it's a flatfish, small flatfish. I'd like to see what's PC though. So you gave someone else a rod. <laughs> I hope you guys saw it in the background. The guy with the blue rod, his rod just took off. He's on now. Come and take it out. 
more ducky guys I'm okay, send it back. No flop, no flop. Coming down. Yeah, guys, the other guy is still on. But it's time for me to pack up. I'll let you guys know what he gets. So yeah guys, I'm uh, gonna head home now. Unfortunately, I couldn't really raise a bite. Uh, the one bite with slackline, but uh, yeah, I dropped the bait. I either dropped the bait or pull the octopus onto the point of the hook. So that's why I never get hooked. But uh, yeah, it was good seeing such a big pommy. Uh, again, minus well done, bro. Uh, it's a cannon. Um, I estimated between eight and 10 kilos. Uh, when I was carrying it back, it was dragging on the floor and I had it I'd say basically to my waist. So I guess it was a good fish. Um, the other fish that uh, where I ended it previously uh, ended up being a decent sized duck pearl. He landed on the other side of the pier so I didn't get to see it. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be back. Uh, either for the duck pearl or for the pommy. Hopefully, hopefully that pommy. But um, yeah, we got a cold front coming through. So after that, I'm definitely going to put some hours here. Until then guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, uh, you hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't. You can also press that bell icon to get notifications as soon as I upload. Tight likes guys.